In the last lecture, you learned that we can use a subquery in the select clause of a select statement. So this is a query that we wrote in the last lecture as part of our exercise. When we execute this query, we get this table. So we have the client ID, client name, total sales, average, and difference. Now currently we don't have a table like this in our database, but the data that we have in this, let's say virtual table is very valuable because it summarizes a lot of data. Now we can get this table in memory and treat it like a real table in our database. We can join it with another table using the client ID column. We can filter the data here. We can group the data. We can do all sorts of things, just like how we use real tables in our database. So we can take this query and use it in the from clause of another query. Let me show you. So I'm going to write a very basic query, select everything from now, instead of referencing a table here, we can use the result of this query. So we can convert this query to a subquery. So let's remove dot, dot, dot. Here we add parentheses and then indent our subquery. This is not required, but it makes our code more readable. And let's close the parentheses. Beautiful. So this is an example of using a subquery in the from clause of a select statement. Now, whenever we use a subquery in the from clause, we need to give the subquery an alias. This is required, whether we use that alias or not. So let's call this sales summary. Okay, now let's execute this query. So we get the same result as before. So we haven't really achieved anything at this point, but we can filter this data. For example, we can write a where clause to return only the clients that we have an invoice for. So we don't want to return client number four because the total sales here is null. So back to our main query. Here we write a where clause where total sales is not null. Let's execute the query. Now client number four is gone. Beautiful. We can also take this table and join it with another table. The possibilities are endless. Having said that, as you can see, writing a subquery in the from clause of a select statement can make our main query more complex. There is actually a better way to solve this problem using views. So we can take this query and store it in our database as a view. And then we can call that view sales summary. This will greatly simplify our queries. We'll look at views later in the course. So this is what I want you to take away in this lecture. Yes, you can write subqueries in the from clause of a select statement, but reserve it only for simple queries.